One day while searching the internet for inspiration, I came across a cute t-shirt. I love when a basic item like a t-shirt is embellished to make it fancy, but I never seem to like the price tag that comes with such designer gear. This t-shirt seemed simple enough to recreate, so I decided to give it a try. Let's take a look at what materials you'll need for this project. A t-shirt, tool, sew on rhinestones of various colors and sizes, straight pins, thread and sewing needle, scissors, gym tack glue or whatever type of craft glue, pencil, piece of parchment paper, tape, interfacing. Where I purchase my materials will be listed on the blog. Link to blog is below. Let's get started. First thing, lay your t-shirt out flat on your workspace. We're going to trace the outline of the bottom of the collar. Cover the entire front neckline area with a piece of parchment paper. Use a pencil to trace the seam that runs along the bottom of the collar. Put your t-shirt to the side. We won't be needing it for a while. Use tape to attach the parchment paper to the workspace. Next, take a piece of tool and place it on top of the parchment paper. Trim if necessary. Smooth the tool out on top of the parchment paper. Then use tape to hold it into place. Now comes the fun part, placing the rhinestones. I'm not really good at just randomly placing things, so I decided to consult the inspiration t-shirt for a pattern to use to place the rhinestones. I removed all the rhinestones so I could start over. This time I started from the center and worked my way out from there. As I started to place the rhinestones following the layout of the inspiration t-shirt, I decided it was taking me a long time to look through the hundreds of tiny stones laid out on my work area to find the right shapes and colors, rhinestones that I needed. So I took a few minutes to put some of the square and circle rhinestones into groups to make the placing process go a little quicker. Just keep placing the rhinestones along the traced outline of the collar until it's full and you have all the stones in place how you want them. Now comes the most fun, fun, fun part of the project, gluing the rhinestones down. Carefully pick up each rhinestone one at a time, starting with the center stone, and put a dab of glue on the back of each rhinestone. Then carefully place the rhinestone back into the layout where you picked it up from. Once everything is glued down, let it dry for a few hours or preferably overnight. After the glue is completely dry, remove the tape. Next, carefully peel the tool away from the parchment paper. The glue should hold the rhinestones down but not stick to the parchment paper, which is why I love parchment paper because nothing seems to stick to it. At this point, the next step is optional. The glue will probably be strong enough to hold the rhinestones in place on its own, but if you want the extra insurance that the rhinestones aren't going to pop off all willy-nilly, you're gonna to wanna to sew the rhinestones onto the tool. Bring your sewing needle up through the tool, close to the rhinestone on one side. Then push your needle through the holes in the setting and back down into the tool on the other side. Take your time when pulling the thread through. You don't want to snag the thread on any of the claws that hold the rhinestones into their settings. The back of your tool should look something like this once you are done sewing all of the rhinestones to it. This step is also kind of optional, but I would recommend doing it, especially if the t-shirt you're using is a little lighter in weight. I'm using a pretty good quality hefty t-shirt. However, the rhinestone embellishment is kind of heavy. You don't want it to weigh down and stretch out the collar of your t-shirt. So to help manage some of that weight, I'm gonna use a piece of interface on the inside of the t-shirt. Turn your t-shirt inside out. This is fusible interfacing and it can be ironed on so that it will stick, but I find that ironing it down makes it really extra stiff, so I'm not gonna iron it on. 
Place the interface along the collar, making sure that it covers the collar area completely. Take some straight pins and pin the interface to the inside of the t-shirt. Taking care that you are pinning the interface to only the front layer of the shirt. Next, carefully turn the shirt back onto the right side. Take time to smooth out the interface, making sure it lays flat inside of the t-shirt. Now, take your embellished tool collar piece and lay it on top of the t-shirt, positioning it directly under the collar. Use straight pins to attach the tool to the t-shirt. Make sure that you put the pins through the top layer of the t-shirt and the interface. Make sure everything is lined up in place. At this point, you can go ahead and thread your needle and start sewing the embellishment onto the t-shirt. Use a basic running stitch to attach the tool and interfacing to the front of the t-shirt. Make sure to sew above and below the embellished collar. Once the embellished collar is fully sewn onto the t-shirt, remove all of the straight pins. Take scissors and trim the excess tool from the bottom and the top of the embellishment. Cut close, being very careful not to cut any of your stitches or cut a hole in your t-shirt. Take your time doing this, especially if you're using sharp scissors. Next, turn the shirt inside out and trim the interfacing. Once again, trim it close to the stitches. Take care not to cut any of the stitches or the t-shirt. Turn the shirt back onto the right side. Look and see if there is any more tool that you want to trim closer. If so, trim it and you're done. Of course, the rhinestones could have been attached directly to the t-shirt and you could skip the whole attaching the rhinestones to the tool steps. Um, but the reason that I decided to attach the rhinestones to the tool was just in case I want to remove the embellished piece one day, I can do it without destroying the t-shirt. I absolutely love how this came out and I cannot wait for outside to open up again so that I can wear this t-shirt somewhere fun. Comment below if you plan on making this shirt. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted when the next video drops.